Hi, Cancers. So welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in. So here we are with a general message for your sign. This may or it may not resonate with every single one of you watching. Okay, again, it is general. So just take it how it fits. If it does, great. If it doesn't, then, you know, maybe it's just not for you and that's okay too. All right. But um, we're going to start at the top with your Oracle messages first, and then we'll get into the actual reading. And we will um, also talk about your advice messages from Spirit at the end okay so coming out first here we have unrequited love and it says there's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going okay so some of you could be dealing with a connection where things are just imbalanced all right maybe someone's putting forth um more effort than the other person or you guys just aren't seeing eye to eye or you two may want different things here okay now next we also have let your friends help you and it says ask for and accept support from others some of you, there could be some sort of third party interference here within this connection, either someone's friends, family, or just another lover could be in the picture here, possibly. We also have engagement and it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So like I said, somebody wants more from this connection here, okay? For a small percentage of you or a small group of you, there could be an engagement happening here, all right? But um, let's start with your energy first, uh, Cancer. You guys have the nine of pentacles and the 10 of swords. Some of you, you're done with this okay this is about an ending here all right being single with that nine of pentacles some of you could be dealing with a capricorn um and the reason why i say that is because i just did their reading and they had that same card come out in the same position okay so that's only for a few of you but whatever sign you're dealing with some of you you feel kind of hurt here or disappointed okay so you could be feeling like this is over um and now they have the six of swords and the strength card yeah so they're feeling like they may need to move on as well guys some of you could be dealing with an air sign or a leo here um so there could be somebody traveling or relocating okay physically moving um to another place city country for some of you but um you guys also have the five of pentacles and the world yeah some of you you're trying to detach from this this is about cold energy or somebody being abandoned or rejected here okay either you've done this to them cancer maybe they did it to you but it feels like something is uh closing out here okay now um they've got the page of cups and the queen of swords i feel like they do want to talk to you and communicate but they may come off a little bit too harsh or critical here they do have feelings for you but some of you i feel like they're kind of breadcrumbing you or they're just not offering you enough okay maybe it's just a friendship or something kind of um that's just not um, on a higher level here of commitment. All right. Now you guys also have the queen of cups and the two of wands. Some of you, you do love this person though. Okay. You do have feelings for them, but you also may feel kind of stuck here within this connection. Um, trying to make up your mind. Okay. With the two of wands this is about someone needing to make a decision. Do I stay? Do I go? Or you're just kind of um, at a crossroads here, uh, possibly. All right. Now, um, they have the King of Wands and the Three of Cups. Yes, they, they are attracted to you. And I think that they, you know, have some love for you. They want to come together with you here with the Three of Cups. This is reconciling, but it can also be a third party. Like I said before, up here at the top, there's somebody's family is influencing this or their friends or, I don't know, it could be somebody's kids, it could be another lover, like I said before. So somebody, this person, they're a player, all right? Now, we also have the Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords over here for you. Yeah, this person, they're disappointing you or they're hurting you here. The Three of Swords is about heartbreak, as we know, okay? Or again, third parties, uh, a third party is here or somebody's feelings are hurt. And you do want to speak up and um, maybe tell this person how you feel, okay? With the Knight of Swords, this is a very direct truthful energy okay so some of you maybe you need to speak your mind here or tell this person um what's on your heart possibly with the three of swords okay so they also have the chariot and the full card all right so we've got aries and cancer energy there some of you might be dealing with another cancer or this is just the fact that you are in their energy field but this is about forward movement okay and progress so some of you they do want to push things forward with you but i also feel like this person has this energy of detachment again with the full card this can be kind of a carefree nonchalant energy all right so let's talk about where things might be headed here soon between the two of you or just the energy that's coming in around this connection we've got the three of pentacles and the temperance um some of you this could be happening at work okay but the Three of Pentacles is about partnership, okay, or people getting along, uh, you know, and working together, being on the same page and cooperation. Someone is trying to be patient here as well, okay. 
um, so that things can balance out and get back into alignment here. Now we also have the moon card and the nine of wands, Pisces and Sagittarius energy is up there. Okay. So, um, there are secrets here for somebody or fear. Okay. Somebody's fearing, uh, giving this another go or just the connection is just difficult. Okay. And challenging. Maybe because it's toxic, because we also have the devil here and the ace of wands. Somebody may be addicted to sex or something that's just not healthy here. You guys may, again, be dealing with a Capricorn, like I mentioned before. This is their card. So this is about addictions, control issues, narcissistic behavior, um, or a negative mindset, a negative attachment here within this situation. But somebody is still desiring it, still wanting to start this or participate in this, okay? We've also got the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. But it's not much being offered here, okay? Page of Pentacles is something small. It's not the King of Pentacles, okay? Or the Queen, it's the Page. So, yes, yeah, somebody um, wants to give something to you possibly, but some of you may feel like it's just not enough and the situation just feels tiresome here. Ten of Wands is about completions, okay? Something may be coming to an end because it's just too heavy, all right? Now, um, let's talk about these advice messages down here at the bottom, okay, guys? These might pertain to this situation or it could be about something else in your life. Just take it how it resonates, all right? So coming out first here, we have trusting your intuition and it says my life is truly guided. So um, some of you, if you feel like something's off here with this person, okay, you're probably right. All right, because I do see some of that uh, not so good energy within them or their uh, cards that came out there. So this is Spirit saying that maybe you need to trust your gut, okay, and um, follow your heart here. We also have uh, communicating freely and it says I communicate from the depths of my soul. So um, I do see that up here too, okay, guys, in your energy where you want to say something or you need to speak up and say how you feel here or what's upset you or just speak your truth, okay? Now, we also have following your bliss and it says my soul sings with joy. So this is about happiness, peace, wish fulfillment, contentment, okay, and going after what you want and what makes you happy, all right, guys? So whether it's with this person or someone else or maybe nobody, maybe just you being off on your own, all right? So that's what came out, Cancers, if this resonated. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll talk to you next week. Take care.